It's me, Birke. I haven't shared a lot of myself yet, so let's get to know me better. It's between 6 and 7 a.m. when I would usually wake up. I love mornings. I feel all clean in my brain and my body. No distractions yet, very little stimuli. And I'm still sensitive to the finest sensations. The coffee tastes its best in the morning as well. Cutting myself off any fractions, I would sit down for work. <laughs> okay, laying down also happens. This is where I stay until lunch. The afternoons are less focused. The more diverse stimuli I perceive throughout the day, people, noises, tastes, emotions, the slower I get. That is when I would usually go for a run or do yoga. It's me hanging upside down when the best ideas rise. And once I'm done, I hit back to my desk. I will be honest with you guys. I aimed for shooting a really cool, exciting vlog and I just couldn't. It kind of destroyed the moments and since I'm turning into some workaholic alien lately, there's simply not so much happening in my life. So <laughs> I had to wrap things up and put some dramatical background music. However, I perceived vlogs being a very strong medium here on YouTube. And it is bizarre because they are often produced with very little filmmaking skills and show very trivial content. The whole world is working from home lately, all of us know it to its best. Most of us also drink coffee in the morning, eat lunch, do yoga. So where's the content that makes a vlog interesting? I can imagine two reasons why they function so well. Which is first, obviously, that they are a very strong bounding experience for you who can follow your YouTuber, your favorite YouTuber, in a kind of behind the scenes and see his life in a very authentic and personal way. And second, I think it's even more important or more interesting that it does not only show how a YouTuber lives, but also how he perceives the life he is having. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the sociological term of contingency. It describes something given something experienced, expected, remembered, fantasized, in the light of its possibility being otherwise. What it basically says is that all of us perceive the world differently. We could be in the very same situation and still have a very different experience of what we are in. Because there are tons of stimulus surrounding us and all of us select different stimuli. So contingency means that being depends on selection, which in turn implies the possibility of not being and the being of other possibilities. Why am I telling this to you guys? It's because I think the vlog's strength lies in the multiple perspectives of the very same basic situations. It's a medium that shows the variety in which we perceive and experience things differently. And it allows to enter other people's perspectives. So I think the vlog is something that is not only interesting for people who do not know me yet in order to show them how I live and whom I am, but also for the people who live very close to me and know me very well already, but enter my perception of the world and get to see those rooms and those people I surround myself with and they know already very well as well from a different point of view.